Hey, Cornell, it's Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Um, you set a, a career high for reception yards, second week in a row. Um, but you were you were there for the, the last regular season loss at Syracuse. Um, how much does this one sting compared to that one? Does it sting more just because you had the lead with, with two minutes left? Or, you know, what, what's the overall mood of the team compared to after that loss? So whenever you lose, you know, they – they hurt just the same, you know, it's a loss, uh, regardless if you lose by one, if you lose by 99 points. So it's, it's not really a big difference. It's definitely a, a lot of guys are clearly disappointed in our loss. And, um, you know, we, we're just ready to come in here and uh, get back to the drawing board, figure out what we went wrong, what we could do better, and uh, move on to the next week. Cornell, this is Matt Connolly with the state. Why have, why have these last few weeks and in, in this year um, and in general, just been better for you? And what do you feel like has been different for you this year? Um, I feel like preparation, you know, consistency, and it all starts in practice, practice habits. And going out there, just trying to dominate every rep of practice that I get one play at a time, you know. And you really win and you, you succeed on Saturdays throughout the week, Monday through Friday. And that's when, that's when the work is really put in and really done. So... You know, I've just been having a mindset to come out and do whatever the team needs me to do on Saturday. Um, but it all starts Monday through Friday. Trevor was saying he feels like your confidence has grown this year and he's kind of seen it grow in these last few weeks. Would you agree with that? And can you kind of take us through that process if so? Uh, I feel like as an, as an athlete, you know, your confidence grows, of course. The, the more plays you get, the more plays you make and 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 uh, and how the, how the season goes, you know, and uh, – I've been fortunate enough to, to have some big plays lately, and you know that always helps your confidence. But I know I wouldn't be able to do any of that without the great offensive line that we have. You know, up front it starts with those guys setting the tempo, setting the tone, and then you know great running backs to to allow me to have one-on-one -on -one matchups. You know, and then a, a, essentially a great quarterback who can put the ball um, in the right spots where it allows me to make the play. Hey, Cornell, this is Grace Rainer from The Athletic. You mentioned mindset. Is that different this year for you as a redshirt senior than it has been in the past? You know, I don't think – I wouldn't say it's necessarily different. You know, I've always had the mindset that, you know, uh, when I go out on the field, I'm the best player on the field. And um, it's, just, it's, just showing, it's just showing this year uh, with more opportunity. You know, you just got to make the most of them. And I feel like you never know, especially with this year, when your last game is going to be. So I want to go out there and leave it all on the field each week. For you to be so patient, what does it mean to you just to, to wrap all of this up and know that everything's coming to fruition for you right now? Um, it shows you that, you know, guys, it's all on God's timing. You know, he's in control of everything. And um, I put my faith into him. And uh, he told me uh, to stick with it stick, uh, and, and tough it out, you know. Uh, great players are made through adversity and sacrifice. So... Uh, the last four years, I've been fighting, battling, and it's not like I've been, you know, not competing with NFL, NFL caliber guys. You know, if you look at it, I came in and had Mike, Tay, Renfro, then we had Dion, then we had Ray Ray, and then we had Dre, T, J Ross. You know, so those guys aren't aren't no slouches. You know, so um, I knew that, you know, whenever my time was called and whatever my number was called, I was gonna be ready. And, um, that's what you're saying. Hey Cornell, it's David Hood. Can we can we give a little bit of love to Miss Stephanie here for a second? Um, let's take a walk down memory lane. I remember at your games, your high school games, she was your biggest cheerleader. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of ways, you even said back then she was your whine. Is trying to provide for your mom a big whine for you right now too? Absolutely. You know, uh, I want to. First of all, I want to make her proud, and if I can do that in any way I can, I'm going to do it. You know, and uh, just being ha having her there by my side each and every game, home or away, is just amazing, you know. And it just shows you how great of a mother she is. She's willing to go out her way still to this day to make sure that I'm happy that I have everything I need. So uh, going out there and making her proud and, and uh, trying to make sure that I can do whatever I can to retire her one day is, is definitely on my mind when I go out there and play. Did you get a lot of your work ethic from her growing up, watching her go to work at the hospital every day and – and put in all those long hours as, as a single mother? 
Absolutely. You know, she never she never quit. She never gave up. She made, never made excuses. And I always had what I needed and even more at some time. So, you know, just just seeing that day in and day out, that really motivated me. And it really is really like what's behind my drive and what's behind my mindset and my attitude. You know, I attack everything. I want to be the best at everything I do. Whether we're running wind sprints or we're doing reps of 225, I want to try to be the best. You know, and that comes a lot from her. She never quit. So is that maybe another reason why you never quit that that she's kind of your you know your you know your idol in that way oh absolutely you know uh, she she's always told me to, to stick it out you know whatever it is uh make sure you you put the your best name on it um whatever the whatever the task is just make sure you do your best at it and, and never quit never run away from adversity never run away from pressure you know just because something's tough doesn't mean you run away from it maybe it's it's trying to teach you a lesson in that whole message so uh that's why I haven't quit because of her. I'll ask one final question about her and just something I remember that she told me way back when, if you do make the NFL and make NFL money, one of the first things you get her, would it be a personal cook? Because <laughs> I know she does not like to cook. <laughs> I'm gonna get her whatever she wants, whatever that is. So if it happens to be a cook, I'll buy her one. Hey, Cornell, it's Trevor again. It, it looked like um, on that rare drop that you had uh, before halftime, you might have jammed your finger. Is that what happened on that? Nah, man, I just got to make the play. I took my eyes off of it, trying to make, make a move up field before I could secure the catch. So uh, just going back to my details and uh, just learning my, uh, remembering my fundamentals out there. You got you to gotta catch before you can run. Are, are you ever surprised by how hard DJ throws the ball at times, or is, are you pretty used to it by now? Uh, when he first got here, it was definitely a switch up, you know, but uh, since he's been here since January, so you, know, you get used to it. Uh, you just got to, when the ball is coming, you know, no matter who's throwing it, you got to just lock in on it, you know, and, uh, pretend it's just you and the ball out there and, and see, it through, through, see it through through the tuck. Cornell, this is Matt again. You touched on it a little bit, uh, but just with the receivers Clemson brings in every year, is it? Is it hard? What's it like having new guys, these new five-star guys come in every year? And are you ever like, you know, hey, don't forget about me. I'm, I'm still here too. No, man, it's, uh, it's actually fun, man. As a competitor, the competitor that I am, uh, having those guys, it just, it just lights another uh, fire under you, man. You know, you gotta, you gotta bring it each and every day, you know, cause those guys, they're, they're highly ranked for a reason. And those guys coming in here with the same mindset that I came in here with to come out here and, and start and be the best and be the best receiver that Clemson's ever had. So, you know, that's what that's one thing about Clemson, man. Uh, one thing that I learned is how to compete, how to how to go out there and prove yourself every day, you know, because you can have a great week one week and then next week it could be another guy. So you just want to go out there and, uh, and do your best. With your career kind of winding down now, can you just take us through some of the highs and lows and what it's all been like or do you allow yourself to reflect at all on that? Uh, you, you try to never get too high and never get too low on yourself, uh, especially as an athlete, man, you know, because one day you might you might make the game winning catch and one day you might drop the game winning catch. So you never try to get too high and never try to get too low. But, I mean, obviously the national championships uh, are up there, all-time favorite of mine since I've been here. It's just that uh, that sweet that sweet feeling of victory. Uh, you know that you accomplished everything with your team, man. You know all the hard work and stuff that y'all been through. So obviously those national championships. And then um, lately, man, uh, these past couple of games, you just, just having fun, just having joy in the moment when I'm out there on the field. And, uh, you know, like I said, man, you never know when the last time might be the last time. So you just got to go out there and uh, have fun. And, and fun is all, always on Saturdays, man, for me. You describe yourself as a receiver. Like I, I know you've made some deep plays lately, uh, but also, Obviously, had the uh, really impressive run after the catch the day two. But can you just kind of describe yourself as a receiver? Uh, versatile, aggressive, physical, you know, tough. Just a guy that's going to do whatever the team needs you to do, whether go in there and crack a linebacker or go out there and make a, a big play down the field. You know, I'm willing to do whatever it is. Cornell, it's Trevor again. Uh, Florida State was obviously a huge program when you were growing up. Um, you, you redshirted uh, the last time y'all played in Tallahassee two years ago. 
Um, are you are you particularly looking forward to to being able to make a trip down there um, in a couple of weeks? Um, I've been there before, but uh, going down there as to the uh, person who's about to go out, go out there and play a lot, you know, I'm definitely excited. Uh, it's a historic franchise, I mean, a historic college um, as far as football. So just being able to go down there to Florida and and continue to play with my guys, man, it's, it's going to be fun. So I'm ready for it. Cornell, what, anything else for Cornell? Guys, I have a, what would it mean to you guys to have another shot at, at Notre Dame? I know you take it one day or one game at a time, but just um, just the way that game ended, just what, what would it mean to have another chance to play them? Um, and we're really just focused on Clemson, man. Uh, you know, uh, take it one week at a time, and, and all of our goals are, are right there in front of us still. And you know, our next goal is to win the ACC. And if it happens to be whoever, whoever we happen to play, you know, we're going to be – ready for them. And uh, so we're not really, we're just focusing on closer, man. Just trying to get better each and every day.